My favorite things to do is find these really cool frames and art. Well, obviously if I can use the art, and I actually didn't hate this art. I thought this was kind of cool, but um, it wasn't gonna work for this space. This off of Etsy, I've always loved this art. Actually had this at our um, San Jose house. And I love the matting on this frame. So this will go in the laundry room um, on the wall. This is just says like seasonal fruits and vegetables. Installing the light, which finally came and... Um, flathead. Flathead. Scalpel. Scalpel. And it, last I checked, it was out of stock, but I'll keep checking. It's from Anthropology. Dino is there. I need to wipe down the wallpaper too, but yeah, we don't want to electrocute ourselves. This used to be a can light here. Safety first. Safety yeah, first. Check. check your ele good. electrical. I... I did that myself when I was painting up that over there, and I did scream, and then I sat on the sofa, and I just rocked myself afterwards for like 10 minutes. It's the first time I ever electrocuted myself. What I like to do is find things that are uh, functional, but also super cute. Like I'm Ashley, and what I like to do is find functional and cute. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Hi, I'm Dino. I work all the time. Bye bye, bye sell so Netflix. Beep 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 boop 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 beep boop. Tino smash. smash. Where's my yellow tank top? 100%! <laughs> That's a good issue. <laughs> oh, okay. I was saying, I'm Ashley, and I like to find things that are cute and functional and do all the things. Uh, we love having a broom and a little dustpan, and we have this really ugly one that Dino found. Hey, what's me? I moved that one to the garage, and I found this this was on Amazon. How cute are these to have out? Like if you're going to have a broom out, why not make it cute? And they were a great price. So I'll add a link to those here. And uh, how are we going up there? How are we going? So there was a can light here and I need to put a big light like this on it, right? And that requires a bracket like this. The bracket has to go onto a box like this. So what you do is you get one of these dually jobbers here and you untwist it. And as you twist it, it pushes itself apart and go between two studs right here. And then I just connect everything to that. Mm -hmm. That was so fast. Do it. Okay, let's go. Do it. Do a trick, pony. Yeah. So it goes through like that, like this. I can't see you. Okay, I can't see it. Where are you going? <laughs> it's very anticlimactic to watch. You're back. Like, oh, there, there you go. Basically, it'll sit like this. Oh, that's really that. cool. Isn't that nice? And then the box. Scariest thing is that this light is so heavy. Did you put it in correctly? You know, the trony. I'm a software engineer. This is not my area of expertise, okay? Don't drop that. To run out to run some errands and... I cannot help, but I had to I had to do something with that song and you guys are so much fun. I love, love being able to be ourselves on here and just be silly and you guys know our hearts behind everything. Um and I love being able to laugh with you guys. So you guys are awesome. Um all right, I told Dino not to watch my stories. I'm alone in the car right now and I have serious, serious business. Dino's turning 40 this year in May. For my 30th birthday long time ago he did the most amazing surprise it was like multiple surprises so I'm starting now trying to plan things and we're heading to Las Vegas in a couple of weeks for his, to visit his parents we're bringing the kids but while we're there I'm planning an amazing surprise for him so I'm starting his 40th birthday surprises in March but I need help we haven't been there in so long uh, we haven't been there in years what should we do what do we need to do Okay, so the second thing is, is Dino has never had a really nice suit. I don't even care about it being really nice, but just like very fitted. And so every job he's had, because he's like works at Netflix, tech, like nerd stuff, they don't need to dress up. Uh, he worked in berry fields, electrical, like he's done all of the, the jobs you don't really need suits for. And he really wants a suit. 
how do I get him a suit and fit it perfectly without him knowing that he's getting a suit? Help me. You guys are giving me some amazing ideas. I will for sure put a list together of Vegas spots that you guys are recommending. So many are saying Krista Horton is there right now. And trust me, we know we've been following along and it has been just riveting. <laughs> so fun. Um, so I'll put a list together, but for the suit idea, so somebody said that there's a rental from Nordstrom that you can rent a really nice suit or tuck. So I think I'm gonna look into that. And then a couple ideas for finding out his size, say that we have like a book thing that he needs to get sized for, I guess, like a book signing that he has to get dressed up for. But I just don't want him to know that there's a suit coming. many great suit ideas. ASOS, Zara, Suit Supply, Bonobos. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to check them all out. I'm going to measure Dino while he's sleeping. I'll video that. Oh man. And we're going to get this done. I have to say, I do remember, I think it was the last time or maybe a few times ago when we were there, we did go out once and he had a, a suit jacket, I think, and a bow tie. And everybody thought he was a waiter. It was so funny. We were with Lynn and Bry, my brother and sister-in-law, and people would come up to him like when we were out dancing or at restaurants and be like, sir, um, where's the bathroom? Uh, sir, here, can I have another whiskey? Dude, I was like, what is happening? He looked like a waiter. A few people say the same message here below. If you're not seeing stories, I, Instagram's always just changing stuff. It's super annoying. You can turn on notifications. You can put me as a close friend. Um, liking and commenting on stuff helps too. So many stories today because I'm waiting for the kids and I got a lot of time to spare so you're gonna get a lot of me. This week I'm giving away a, such a good prize on stories so be sure to be here on stories this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go sit in your chair. Yeah, go, girl. Oh, you're chilling? <laughs> Yeah, oh, careful. It's not a rocking chair. You got your elbow. Hey! 